Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play Attrition Tactical Fronts. I'm AC Gamer, and on tonight's episode, we're going to be playing this fantastic turn based game made by Cardboard Keep, currently selling on Steam for $14.99. Now, this is supposed to be a fairly fast paced type of game for a turn based game, so that's going to be a little different. We're going to try that out, and without any further ado, guys, we're going to get in to the campaign of this. This is going to be a blind let's play, so bear with me as we learn the ropes and go through the tutorials. So, very first mission is all we have access to a new post. Welcome to the home front, recruit. We'll begin your training uh, with the uh, troops immediately. Learn the core gameplay mechanics, including selecting units and giving orders. Alright, let's go ahead and commence our uh, mission here. Should be fairly routine. Anybody who's ever played a first person uh, or not a first person, but a uh, RTS should be accustomed to the way this is going to work. Good morning, recruit. Good to have you on base with us. Let's begin with some basic exercises to get you familiar with commanding troops. To continue, left-click the next button. All right, panning the camera, an important part of command in surveying the entire battlefield. Make sure you understand the terrain before issuing orders. So we can move the camera by pressing the arrow keys left up and all those other ones, or the WASA, the WASD keys. You can also click and drag the camera with the middle mouse button. So that's kind of nice that they give you all of those. So let's try it out. Now, the sensitivity is fairly low, so if you're hoping to just zoom across the map with these giant maps that they might give us, uh, you're probably not going to see that. Actually, the uh, WSD keys seem to be a little bit more... Um, oh, yeah, and then the middle mouse button is definitely just jump across depending on the uh, DPIs of your mouse. Uh, if, any, if at any time you'd like to know more about a particular piece of info available to you. You can invoke tooltips with a simple gesture. You can mouse over almost any GUI element to learn additional information about its contents. So let's do just that. You can see it pops up down there in the bottom right corner where it talks about the infantry stats. Uh, same thing right there. It's a town, I guess, and it adds plus two. I'm guessing defense is what that is and a negative two maybe with the red for uh, speed. So that's kind of interesting. We'll figure out what all that means as time goes on. Selecting units, it's important to know who you are commanding before going into battle. Take a moment to inspect your troops. Selecting a unit displays more information about it in the bottom left panel. If you encounter enemy units, you can also select them and see their info. So let's go ahead and uh, left click one of our units here. Uh, do, 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 to deselect it, left click on any non-occupied. So... That is all we're going to do right there, huh? All right. Issuing move orders. Our troops will follow your command to the very best of their ability. When ordered to move to a location, they'll always take the shortest path. When a friendly unit selected, right-click on an unoccupied hex to issue a move order into that location. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to try it with uh, this one on the top just so that I can see what the difference is in movement when they're not on the road. So, it's saying I can move up to uh, three locations, maybe? I have one left. So, let's try... Let's try moving them up here. So, it shows the uh, surrounding area. The fog of war disappears, which is always nice. And this is surrounded by mountains. Obviously, tutorial level gonna be the easiest possible can be. Remember, there is only so far that they can move in one go. The distance the selected unit can move in one turn is displayed on the bottom left panel. That is the foot panel. The left number shows remaining move points. The right number shows maximum move points. Once you've issued all of your orders for a turn, there's no choice but to let the enemy take uh, their turn. To end your turn, left click the end turn in the bottom right corner. That would be down here, that big green button. The end turn button will flash when you have no possible moves remaining. Issuing attack orders. Time to show these enemies uh, what they what we can do. Issue individual attack commands to the troops. Each unit can only attack once per turn, and they have to spend a move point to do so. With a friendly unit selected, right-click on an enemy unit to attack it. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I don't really want to attack any of my guys yet, so we're going to skip that one for now. 
Remember, our troops can only see and attack up to a certain range. When you have a unit selected, you'll be able to see which enemies they can target. If an enemy is too far away, you'll need to get closer to attack. Enemies in attack range of the selected unit will be highlighted red. The selected unit attack range is displayed in the bottom left panel. Okay, so that one's only at two. Not fantastic, but I'm sure we'll get bigger ones later on. All right, recruit time to wipe out this scout before they can escape. To win this game, find and eliminate any enemies. So we need to uh, we need to move forward, I'm guessing, this is the route that we're going to take on that one. We are out of space on this one. We can't occupy the city. And as you can see behind us, the fog of war moves back in as soon as we're not there anymore. Oh, they're coming out to meet us. Let's see if he attacks first. <laughs> All right, so it's going by my, uh, uh, I don't know why it's calling me that, but we'll go with it. Oh, look at the health right above him. So he gets a counter attack as well. So my attack, as you can see right there, is 3.6, and his counter is 2. So let's bring, uh, let's bring my guy down. My attack's going to be 5.1, and his counter is going to be 0 0.6. I'm guessing because either he's turned behind me, or he's already countered once this turn so we'll kind of find that out as we play nice and i can't attack again so we're gonna have to end he's gonna attack my guy's gonna counter will he win yes he will eight points of damage leveled up from level one to level two and a half we're gonna go ahead and celebrate that okay Mountainside Skirmish. A good commander spends time with their soldiers. Let's cover some more basics and get you used to commanding in the field. We'll be conducting exercises with live rounds this time. Learn the intricacies of combat and counterattacking. So it looks like there's a road going around the map. It kind of shows you what it's going to look like right there in the bottom right corner. And there's a mount there that we can get onto. Zooming the camera. Welcome back, recruit. You already know how to move the camera, but sometimes a change in perspective will help you too. Zoom the camera in and out by scrolling the mouse wheel. So we can get really low, almost uh, right on top of them, or we can see it from God view, whichever is, uh, you know, easier for you to kind of play the game. I like to be as low as possible so you can see all those beautiful graphics that they designed into it. So let's go to the next one. Hit points. A good commander is always aware of the well-being of their soldiers. You can see the health of each unit at a glance and inspect them to get more accurate breakdown. The selected unit's HPs are displayed in the health bar on the bottom panel. The first number is their HP. The second number is their max HP. So it tells you what, they're, what they are right now and what they could have been uh, at the beginning of the game. When units take damage, their HP is reduced. Pretty self-explanatory around that. Wounded units. Most of our troops operate best at full capacity. If they're wounded, they won't be able to fight as hard. Keep that in mind when engaging enemies. A unit's ability to both deal and resist damage is based on their HP. Units deal more damage the more HP they have. Units take less damage the more HP they have. The Combat Calculator. That might also be why on the last mission we were hitting that guy a little harder the second turn, not only because his back was turned, uh, but because his life was a little lower. And the boffins in the label or the lab have figured out how to calculate the likely outcome of an attack before you make it. This technology has already saved countless lives. Consult the combat ca calculator to decide if an attack is worthwhile. You'll see how much damage you can expect to deal and to receive from an enemy counterattack. Combat Calculator Part 2. Calculations will also warn you if a unit would be marching to its death. And you can guess an enemy's attack chance too. If you see a skull behind a unit's fighting strength, the unit will be destroyed in the attack. You can select enemies and mouse over your own units to, re to view the combat calculator from the enemy's perspective. If our troops are attacked by an enemy, they can see. They automatically retaliate with a counterattack, but don't rely on counterattacks. It's almost always advantageous to strike first. Units take incoming damage from counterattack, so their counter will be weakened. If the attack reduces the units to zero HP, it will eliminate before it can counter. There's often a chance that our troops will strike luckily, lucky and deal a critical hit to the enemy. If the combat calculator shows a non-whole number, there is a chance to score a critical hit, which deals one extra damage. 
The fraction of the number represents the chance of scoring the critical hit. For example, an attack score of 5.4 means an attack does 5 damage and there's a 40% chance of dealing 1 extra damage for a total of 6 damage. <laughs> Winning the game. Got it all, Recruit. This time, there are two enemy units in the area for you to eliminate. Try to put your new knowledge into practice. Win this game and eliminate all enemies. So, yeah, they throw a little bit more information at you on the second level, but it's pretty standard stuff. Nothing too difficult for us to uh, understand. However, this guy has more of a range as far as running. But if you look at his attack score, it is... Um, it is one, right? Whereas this guy has a two. Or is that his range? I think it's his range. So we'll see which one does more damage. Let's uh, move our guys up. I'm going to move this guy up with him. And this guy, I guess he'll go this way. Kind of block it off. He's all by his lonesome, but there's not much we can do about it. This guy can't go up much more. So we're, yeah, we're going to end it right there. That way if they do come down, we got two for one here. Ooh. Wow, that was a uh, three to three. I could I could live with that. That's actually not bad at all. So let's try out our horse mount. He is full life, so he should do the maximum amount of damage. That's going to be a four point six uh, versus a one point one. What about him? What will he do? So he is lower on life. That might play a role in the damage, but I think they're pretty standard. I don't think this guy's really that much stronger. And yeah, now he has a counter of zero. We're gonna finish this guy off. And can we move up? I think we might be able to. Just a tad bit. See if we can find uh, that last enemy over here somewhere. So he is not on this side. This guy might be the lucky one to find him. There he is. Mounted unit. Can we attack him? His attack... Um, yeah, we're going to go for it. Had a 70% chance of getting an extra hit on that one. Didn't do it, though. <laughs> yeah, you better run, punk. Haha, -ha, you ran to the worst spot possible for you. 6.3 chance. Alright, super easy so far. Hey, Thomas, how you doing, man? Uh, I liked uh, Darkfall. We're going to be doing a little bit of Darkfall later on when Cypher gets on or gets home from work. Uh, right now, we're just doing some uh, new games. We do it uh, about once every week. We throw in uh, three or four new games to the channel, try them out for an hour or so and see what we think. Uh, this one seems okay. Attrition, uh, Tactical Fronts is what it's called. It is a turn-based strategy game for those of you who are in those into those types of ones. I love those. Uh, I, you didn't really play a lot of turn-based ones. That's like Risk, uh, Command & Conquer, Warcraft. Those are my favorites out of all the uh, RTSs out there but it's not turn-based. A flood has crashed through one of the nearby towns. The bridges have been entirely washed away. So you'll need to be, you need to move more carefully. Move in and secure it before the enemy scout force can capture it for themselves. Learn about terrain and using indirect fire units. All right, we're gonna learn a new unit here. Terrain types, how well do you know the terrain recruit? What about the performance of our troops on that terrain? Make sure to educate yourself on how the lay of the land will change our options. All right, terrain has three properties, elevation, cover, and difficulty. Mouse over a hex to see properties for the hex terrain at the bottom of the screen. So we'll see right here. This is uh, just regular terrain. Oh, no, it slows the movement speed, right? But it gives you um, a little bit more elevation, a little bit more cover. And plus two to difficulty. Hmm. What about trees? Trees just give you extra cover and difficulty. Elevation increases the vision range of units on that hex. Cover provides a defensive bonus to units on that hex. And difficulty increases the number of move points that are spent moving onto that hex. Ah, so you really don't want the difficult one, but the uh, the cover and the elevation is nice. Finally, some types of terrain, such as rivers, are sticky. A unit will use all of its remaining move points to enter or leave that hex. You can spot a sticky hex by the blue color of its move. All right. 
I've managed to requisition some indirect fire weapons. We'll be deploying mortars and artillery pieces because their attacks rain down from above. Enemies can't fire back. If a unit uses indirect attacks, they will have the indirect attack badge above their health bar when selected. Indirect attacks do not trigger counterattacks. We'll use the indirect attack to suppress uh, suppress their units so that our troops can move in and wipe them out. Suppression is like temporary damage, reducing a unit's ability to fight. Suppression grays out a portion of HP. Units automatically recover one suppression each turn. Fighting strength. Fighting strength represents how much damage a unit deals. A unit's fighting strength is equal to its HP minus any received suppression. Losing 1 HP or taking 1 suppression equally reduces a unit's ability to deal damage. A unit with 0 fighting strength cannot attack or counterattack. You can see a selected unit's fighting strength at the bottom of the screen in the two circles on either side of the combat calculator. Remaining actions, there are a few ways to make sure you have no units with actions left before ending your turn. Units with a yellow glow around the badge floating above them can still attack. Units with a non-transparent floating badge can still move. And then out of action is uh, completely greed out. It's important that you utilize all the units available to you, but consider your options and think strategically. Sometimes the best move may be no move at all. Finally, you can jump to any unit that have actions available, pressing the tab to cycle through them all. You should now understand the basics of terrain, indirect fire, and suppression. Okay, <laughs> so again, a lot of information they're throwing at you fairly quickly, but it shouldn't be that difficult for us to do it. Now, they do have... Um, just a couple enemies that we can actually see. We get a lot of <laughs> we get a lot of stuff we can work with this one. So let's see. We can't actually hit these guys, but let's go with uh, indirect fire. We're gonna actually be able to hit this guy. Now indirect fire doesn't sound like it actually hurts them. It just stops them from being able to actually attack. If you can lower that number down, and if they do attack, they attack for less. So yeah, let's let's give this a shot. Not too bad. I mean, the graphics are pretty good. <laughs> All right, so minus three on both of those. Can we? No, we're going to have to move up. So I don't really want to move those guys up. Uh, ooh, Can we hit these guys? No, we're going to have to move these guys up a lot further if we were to hit any of those. But let's start with our horse. Let's get him all the way up here into the water. Wow, these guys cannot move very far onto this terrain. And even less there. Uh, yeah, we're going to go the slow route. Get him into the water, although that probably wasn't a great idea because that's going to be pretty much all they can do for a while. All right, AI turn is getting into the water, and that's the end of their turn as well. Fantastic. Good placement for the machine guns. Holy crap. <clears throat> I apologize, guys. Um, can we hit him? We can, or we can finish this guy off. Hmm, that's a 6.5. Should we waste it? Yeah, we're going to go with that. Oh, and we actually got a 7 on that one. Look at that. One star. I'm not quite sure what that all adds up to. So, one turn to get out. You're going to get in. You're going to move up as much as you can. There you go, and let's see, you're going to be stuck there, and that is pretty much all I can do other than a little bit more sus suppression over here. So he still has full health, as you can see right here, but he has only a fighting strength of five, and he's going to gain one back here at the end of my turn. Oh man, he is on land, we got to kill this guy. I didn't quite do it. He, he actually has what? He has zero, zero attack strength. So we're going to leave that guy low. We're going to concentrate on this one over here. He can't do anything. If he does get anything next turn, it's going to be one point. I don't even think he's going to last. So we are going to concentrate our fire. Got him down to a one on his. And we're going to be moving our guys up here. How about you? Can we get you all the way up? I think we can. 
So there is going to be no counterattack on this, and the way I like it. Can we get you in? We're going to get you in, but that's going to be the end of your turn. And you, my friend, can actually attack these guys. Okay, so let's suppression on that guy. And we'll get you finally out of that forest. And we can't move you. All right, so that's the end of our turn. Hmm. Yeah, this is... Uh this is pretty easy. I mean, you know, granted, first level, but a little too easy, I think. Let's finish that guy off. He is dead. Get him out of the way. I'm going to start moving our troops up. There we go. We're going to go ahead and move him up, and we're going to do one more su suppression on him. Ooh, actually took off a life. Uh, did he take the town? I think he's trying to, but he didn't quite get there. Well, you know, we're gonna we're gonna keep moving up. I don't think we can hit anything else until we do. All right, let's go ahead and end our turn here, and we're gonna move our guys up a little bit in fact I'm gonna bring them yeah nope can't move we're gonna have to actually physically go around the city and there is uh, that little catch right there they have their own suppression units can we hit these guys no we're too far away all right so we're gonna have to move up so let's get these guys here Ooh, you know what I'm gonna put one here just to try it out but I don't think that's gonna work any either Come on, you can move up. And you're going to go ahead and try as well. So only one unit can move. Can I move up? I sure can. We're going to go ahead and attack. Might as well before we get attacked ourselves. And that is all we can do. Mm. That is a nice choke point. That is very, very difficult to get into that area. So these guys can cut across the uh, cities. The other ones cannot. There we go. Target is not in range. Ooh, that sucks. All right, let's get this guy in here. Is he in range now? He is not. How about you? We're going to move you up as well. Since this guy is not within range anyways, this guy is though. Oh, yeah. He can't do jack the next turn. And now we're going to go ahead and end our turn here. Yeah, it's not too shabby with their placements. I like it. Ugh, didn't quite do it. No counterattack on that one because we suppressed him. Let's see. We're going to move this guy up a tiny bit, and we're going to move this guy up so we can actually see. Unfortunately, these dudes do not actually show you the surrounding areas enough to make it count. Nice. We're going to get this guy up one more, and that might be within range. I think we might have to wait one more turn to do that. Yeah, I think he's still right, side, right out of our range. Here we go. Right, I'm going to have him finish this guy off. He still has one on him, so let's see. If we move these guys up a little bit, still cannot do it. Now nah, he's definitely going to get attacked. Um, Yeah, we're going to go with this one here. This one down here. Suppression, so the counterattack is zero. Finish him off. Same thing up here. Uh, well, it wasn't enough to finish him off, but definitely enough to do a decent amount of damage. And they should have, I believe, three more troops on their side. Somewhere in that fog of war that we can't see yet. So he's retreating back to a safer area in that town. Uh, zero counterattack. We'll take the risk. And we'll bring him out as well. 
Ah, not enough, not enough. All right, bring him up. Hopefully he does not get attacked by somebody else over here. Can't quite do it. Uh, we'll go ahead and see if this will kill him. And it did. And that's it right there, guys. Celebration. We win level four on our experience bar. These have been extremely easy levels to start with. Uh, not much of a challenge at all. Just kind of teaching you the basics of the game. Commander down. One of the fellow commanders has been wounded. And the enemies are advancing. It's time for you to step in and finish the fight. Learn about the special unit's ability and victory conditions. Let's see. Some of our troops have unique abilities that make them suited to special roles on the battlefield. We've already utilized indirect attacks, but there are several others. Inspect your troops and your opponents to see which special abilities they have. When you select a unit, any special abilities are displayed as icons in the highlighted area. Mouse over these icons for more info. Hmm. Oh, so can we... This is a flanker. This unit excels at striking weak targets from the front lines. Even if this unit has taken damage, it will always attack other units who have the indirect fire ability at its full combat strength. That's kind of cool. And now, Commander, it's time for you to lead our soldiers to victory on the battlefield. A match is won when one team receives their victory point goal VP. You can see the counter at the top of the screen for both teams. A victory point is awarded for every enemy unit eliminated. In regular games, your VP goal is equal to the number of enemy units minus one. So you don't have to eliminate every single enemy unit to win the game. Watch out for your opponent doesn't reach their goal first. So fairly easy, just kind of eliminate all but one on the map. <laughs> uh, let's see, we want to be very, very careful about this. Because it seems like we have a little bit of a disadvantage here. But we might want to look at what we have. Fury. This unit fights with uh, courage. Even if the unit has taken damage, it will always attack at full combat strength. So it does not matter if these guys sit here and pummel him down. Uh, he's going to be able to kick the butts the whole time at full strength. This guy over here is going to be able to kill the artillery. That's the indirect fire that it had on him. Sniper. Let's see what the sniper has. Um, nothing special as far as I can tell. I'm clicked on them and it doesn't show it. These guys, on the other hand, have deploy. This unit must deploy before firing and undeploy before moving. This means it cannot move and attack in the same turn. Yeah, it's more of a downside than something good, but we'll go ahead and uh, give it a shot. See if we can kill these guys off. It's only going to give us a three, but we'll take it. Can I hit him? Oh, wow. Look at the counter on that. The infantry guy is going to do a five, five damage with a 90% chance of doing one extra damage. That is absolutely horrible. That, I'm not going to take that, that risk. We're going to lower him down a little bit before we, we do that. Make him as weak as possible so this guy can finish him off. Yeah, there we go. 4.3. <laughs> okay, that was a little too easy. Let's bring him in. One shot, guys. One shot and he is dead. Let's see, how many can we hit here? Mm, that's not going to be that great. We're only going to do uh, three points, maybe four if we get really lucky. Chances are they're going to do two points. Yep, so we got unlucky on that one. Didn't do the four that we were supposed to, but they got their full amount. Let's see, that's pretty much the end of this turn, I believe. We're going to move up one, one, yeah. Ooh, is he going to kill him? And that's all they wrote for that guy. Not sure how he was supposed to survive. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do our machine gunners on him. Let's see what we'd get out of this. A three, and he has four hit points left, so we're going to go ahead and take advantage of uh, nothing there, I guess. We can't hit him. That's why he moved over there. So he has one point left on his life, which means he ain't going to be doing jack. So let's um, let's move up right here, and this is where we're going to stay, because for them to cross the river, they literally have to miss a turn. They're going to end right there. It takes all their movement points, and I believe we can attack them from inside there. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect where they're at. Let's see if we can move up this guy within range. We might be able to hit him on this turn. 
ran out of movement turns, unfortunately. That kind of sucks. Uh, 5.9 with a 0% chance of him hitting us. <laughs> okay. This next guy will get on land, though. So we will have to move up and um, four to one. I'll take those odds. Let's see, 3.3. And that's the end, guys. That is all they wrote for this little level. Super tiny map so far. Not very much of a challenge. I'm hoping once we get past the tutorial stage and actually into real combat, the hills have eyes. These opposing villages are turreted by hills. Perfect vantage points for both sides and artillery let's go ahead and try one of these we're going to skip past those tutorials even though we're very very close to being done with them i think uh, just a little bit too much on the easy side so we have on our map uh just a couple artillery pieces that we can see before we attack those i am going to run in to the middle of the map and we're just going to see what might be waiting for us up here so just one troop hmm well, I am going to attack that troop with our big guns. If we can hit him, apparently we can't. He's just outside of our range. Can we hit this guy? Yeah, well, he doesn't have very much power left on him. Even if he does attack, it's not going to do much. However, this guy over here has plenty of attack. We'll send one horse there. We'll send another one up here. Gonna send two troops over here. And we're gonna get one of our guys out here in the water. Alright, so I'm glad he actually attacked the artillery and not my troops. Oh, yeah. Not, not digging that too much. Ooh, no. <laughs> okay, my horse is almost dead. I might actually just get him out of combat if it turns uh, that badly. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go ahead and see if we can finish taking this guy out. We got our guys coming up here anyways. It's not going to be a trouble. Hmm. He can't go in through that way, can he? So I can attack this guy or I can get out of the water. I can't do both. Let me think about that before we uh, we do any more. Let's actually do it this way. How much can he do? He's not even going to do one point, and he's going to lose all of his life. So let's come into here, and we'll come all the way back here. Let him rest up. You, on the other hand, three to one. Still not great odds. Almost four to one. That's not... Not fantastic. Well, we're gonna get it. we're gonna go ahead and do it. Gotta take that risk. This should finish him. Gonna go ahead and move this guy up and take out their suppression. Oh yeah. Come on. Attack. Oh, no more move points left? That sucks. What do we got? Anybody left that can do anything? You can still do something, so let's see. Mm, not enough to finish him, but enough to do enough damage. Ah, so much suppression. Okay, so you can't do anything. You can't do anything. You can still do something though. So let's go ahead and suppress the new guy. And we're going to go ahead and finish this thing off. <laughs> All right, so we're going to come back and uh, cut across this terrain. Not the uh, the best idea, but it's going to be better for us, I think, in the end. This guy is uh, still alive, which is the way I like to keep it. We could finish him off. We'll do that. Two to one. Mm. I don't like that. We might just leave him there for now. Yeah, we're going to leave that guy there. He's going to do a counterattack when he can. 
so that horse is now completely worthless. He can't do anything. Let's see, what can he do? Three to one. Yeah, it's gonna suck. All right, this guy finally has a little bit of suppression. Yeah, that suppression is nasty. Let's uh, move this guy up. Doing fairly decently. Nobody has uh, lost any life. Or nobody's died, I should say. So we got two guys up here. I believe the range is only limited by distance, not by how close you are. So those guys will be able to hit my my guy right there. Hmm. Some of these dudes are going to have to cut across those trees, and that's going to take a while. Hmm. So are they coming down? Is that what they're trying to do? Okay, so he's worthless. We can get one attack, which is going to be five. Fantastic. Those those horsemen are just unbelievable when it comes to uh, <laughs> when it comes to these artillery. Uh, you can't do anything, but you can seven. That's going to be the end of the level right there. I think we got it. Victory celebration level five. And it opens up the map for uh, so many more little levels here, guys. But I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, if you like this game, definitely check out the uh, videos for it. There's, um, there's a lot of gameplay here if you are into RTSs that have a turn-based strategy to them. Uh, they definitely put all of the key elements in here, the terrain taking effect each different one of the units having special abilities versus other ones suppression which is a nice little addition that i haven't seen in rts's in a while actually lowering their attack power basically and not their life which is kind of interesting they do actually do a little bit of damage if you can get them down to zero on their attack power but it takes a little bit to do that as always guys i'm ac gamer and i will definitely catch you next time Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.